Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In this session, we will learn about environment variables and also we will learn how to work with environment variables. As part of 30, we learned about the session variables. In simple words, session variables are specific to that instance of the process. Now, in this session, we will learn about the environment variables. What is environment variables? Environment variables should be used to store any process or application information required to work the business process that may subject to the change either between environments. These environment variables are applicable to entire installation of Blue Prism. Environment variables can be defined in System Manager tab. As I shown on the screen, these are all the examples of environment variables. One, URL for browser-based application, file path, global timeout, system or environment names, email addresses, white list of email addresses, and the maximum number of transactions. These are all the environment variables that we are commonly using in our application or else in our Blue Prism. And next we'll go for the environment variable naming. It is also very important to name environment variables so that the process or the system can understand easily. If you see on my screen, I have provided some more examples for the uh, environment variables along with the names. If you see Facebook URL, it will suggest the variable includes the application name, sales account file path. This variable name includes the department name, SAP system name. This variable name includes the application name. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Now we are in the Studio tab. Now I will show you how to create environment variables. Go to System tab. Under System tab, you will find an objects. Under an objects, you will find environment variables. On the right hand side, if you want to add a variable, you will find an option called Add Variable. Click on that. Now I'm going to, you will find a lot of things over here like name, type, description, and the value. I'm going to give the name as differ until process. This variable that I'm going to use, which I have been hard coded in the previous session. I will show you how, okay? Just now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable, environment variable, so that I have selected the environment variables and I'm the name I have given as differ until process. And the type, I'm going to give it as date time. And the description, I'm going to say differ, differ time. And after that, if you find it over here, the value default value has came into picture. Now what I have to do, if I want to change the date and time, we can do it in two ways. The first thing that I can change it over here itself, if I want to change it, or else if I, you can see two options over here, two images over here that click on the image, the first one is the calendar. If you want to change date and time, first to change the date, we can we can select any date over here. As of now, that what I'm going to do, I'm going to select August 12, 2018, and I'm going to click on OK. Now, if I want to change the time, if you see, I can change the time in in this way. If I want to go ahead AM or PM, I can select it from here, and I'm going to click on OK. Now, to apply these changes over here, you can find it on the bottom side. You can find an apply button. Click on that. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use differ this variable in my previous process. Now I will show you how to do that. Let me go to studio. In the previous session, what we have done, I have worked with the student process. Let me open that. Let me open add to queue from results. If you see over here, differ until, what I have done, I have hard coded the values. Okay, but if you want to change each and every time when the process is running, so it is not possible to do so over here. So that is the reason what we have done, we have created the environment over here. So how can I go ahead and refer that environment variable? Now let me go ahead, let me add a data item from here. Okay. I'm going to double click on the properties. If you see over here, the initial value and the exposure. So we, have, we are now concentrating on the exposure. If you see over here, there are a lot of options. One is static, environment, and the session. Now we are going to talk about the environment, right? So that I'm going to select the environments over here. If you see, there's no meaning of the name over here, that whatever you have written. Just simply you will see the what are the environment, environment variables that you are having, you will automatically find it. 
Now click on the what are the value that we are having defer until process that you have defined, right? If you see what are the values that you have mentioned, automatically it is going to get it. If you are going to give any initial values, go ahead and select it. Okay. Now let me go ahead and let me open. If you see over here, the current value, what are the values that have given while I'm going to create the variable that is going to be getting over here in the current value. Okay. Now what I'm going to click, I'm going to do, I'm going to click on okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to refer that data item over here. I'm just removing these lines. If you see there, the data uh, date times that I'm having, you will find it out defer until process. Let me drag and drop on onto my canvas. That is nothing but action properties add to queue from the results. And I'm going to click on OK. Let me reset the process. Let me go ahead and let me run this. It has reached our breakpoint. Okay, if you see over here, differ until is the time which I have given at the time of creating a variable. So what will happen? This is this differ until process environment variable will applicable to the entire Blue Prism installation. Wherever you want, you can go ahead and you can utilize it. But whereas session variable, it is going to be applicable for the particular session only. Okay, this is the way how we are going to work with the environment variables. I hope you understand the difference between session variables and also for the environment variables. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. Where are all these environment variables will be stored? So these environment variables stored in DB. Let me switch to Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So each and every time what I have done, this is my connectivity string, uh, connectivity database for the Blue Prism, that is Blue Prism test. Under that, you will find BPA environment where is a table. Let me write a select query on that. Select store from environment BPA environment variables. Let me go ahead and let me execute that. If you see over here that you will find it differ until the date and time which we have mentioned in the system tab, right? This is the same differ until process which we have again created at the environment variables. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section.